Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, NASA has just announced, scientists have just announced today that a black hole ripped a star apart, creating the biggest blast ever seen in history. Now, uh, they're saying that they saw this back in January. Scientists said they discovered this exploding star uh, ending in a super luminous supernova that was almost inconceivably bright, more so than the output of the entire Milky Way. Now new research shows the distant flare may have actually been the result of a rare cosmic collision. Even when news about the exploding star was announced, it didn't quite seem like your run-of-the-mill supernova explosion of a star at the end of its life. The explosion mechanism and power source remained shrouded in mystery because all known theories met serious challenges in explaining the immense amount of energy that Assassin 15LH has radiated, according to astronomer Sabo Dong, said in a statement. So there, there have to, in other words, what I'm going to tell you something. Science, NASA, and all the major scientists have to tell us something. We're 15 days away from the impact of the second wave of energy. We're about ready to encounter that tremendous wave of energy that ended up creating the 2004 9.1 earthquake, 8.1 earthquake in the Marquis Islands, 9.1 in northern Sumatra and in Indonesia, that created a tsunami wave so big that it killed 240,000 people. This wave of energy coming in, in 15 days, coming on December 26th, 14 days, December 26th, is larger. Okay, that doesn't mean we're going to have a 10, uh, you know, a 9.5 earthquake, but what it does mean, we're going to be encountering massive waves of energy that are going to cause a definite change in uh, volcanism. We're going to see a lot more volcanoes, a lot more earthquakes, more powerful anything that we've ever seen, ever. So scientists know this is coming. They know that there's been, on, especially on alternative media, that we've been all sharing this with you guys, what's coming. Guys like BP Earthwatch and Mike Around the World and, uh, you know, uh, these other sites, Dutch Sense, a lot of folks are trying to explain what's about to come up on the earth. And so the scientists know we're telling everybody, so they've got to come out with an explanation. Till today, they're going to do it. They said a study... Um, Based on new data and observations of Assassin 15LH, uh, attempts to solve the mystery by reclassifying, reclassifying it as a, and they calling it a tidal disruption event, or TDE. That's a scientific way of saying that this powerful gravitational force of a rotating black hole jarred and then pulled at a star that passed too close stretching it like spaghetti until it ripped to pieces in a series of fantastic explosions. We observed the source for 10 months, they're saying, following the event, and we've concluded that the explanation is unlikely to lie with an extraordinary bright supernova. Uh, instead, according to Wiseman Institute of Science, they said in a news release today, our results indicate that the event was probably caused by a rapidly spinning supermassive black hole as it destroyed a low-mass star. After this doomed star was torn apart by the black hole's extreme tides or waves, all those ripped-up star bits probably collided with each other at high speeds before falling into the black hole. Yes, those tides are similar to the way the moon pulls at our oceans, just incomprehensibly more powerful. All this would have generated crazy amounts of energy and created a flare. Astronomers are now seeing some 3.8 billion light years away. A typical supermassive black hole 
doesn't quite explain the luminosity of the explosion, which is why scientists believe it would have to be rapidly spinning black hole, also called curved black holes, to do the kind of damage that they're observing. Even with all the collective data, we cannot say with 100% certainty that the Assassin 15LH uh, was a tidal disruptive event, but it is by far the most likely explanation. So they're, they're starting. They've got to tell us something. We've been telling you folks, Mike from around the world's been telling us because he had this in, in, inside information for over four years that this second wave of energy was coming. And he even said back in the summer, when it gets down to about two weeks to go, NASA and different scientists will start to put a spin on what's about to take place. They'll start to break it to us slowly. Of course, we've been talking about this for a long time. And the last few days after that 6.5 earthquake in, uh, off the coast of Northern California, the same day 8.0 Solomon Islands, the same day 6.5 and then 6.9 Solomon Islands. The fact that there's continuing uh, to be extreme pressure being applied to the tectonic plates. We know this, the, the pressure's on, folks. The pressure, we got 14 days before this wave initially arrives. And then it will take two years for us to get through this enormous, dense, the density of the luminosity is off the charts. It is going to create some catastrophic events over a two year period of time. Now, if nothing happens on the 26th, don't, don't just go to sleep and say it was all a hoax. Understand, NASA now, now NASA and the, and the scientists are starting to tell us that there's been a massive explosion so far out there. They're not telling you it's gonna affect you right now. But they're starting to slowly break it to you that large energy uh, waves of energy have been released way out into the far distant of the cosmos or even calling it a cosmo collision. And they're even using the, the name assassin, A-S-A-S-S-N, -S -S assassin, that's how they spell it, assassin 15LH. I'll be back with more current world events how they relate to Bible prophecy. We are living in the last days. And so you're going to begin to see earthquakes in diverse places, just like Jesus said. Radiation from these waves are going to start to create large droughts. It's going to start frying some of the grass, some of the vegetation. Even some of the trees may start to burn up. There is also coming, incoming brimstone, very small. It's going to create some fires in different parts of the world. It's going to be, these little brimstones are going to be made of nickel and iron. And as they begin to hit, they're going to start creating fire. Also, an ash atmosphere will begin to develop over the next six months or so. You're going to start seeing more and more and more. These are the waves of energy. This is the one huge wave of energy that's going to take us two years before we get through its density. Just what it does to the earth, I don't know. I just know Jesus is coming. And everything that they say that this wave will create is found in your Bible in the book of Revelation. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. We're running out of time.